Hello, good morning, my name is Rob, and today we're gonna to talk about how to move these big container panels. The first thing you're gonna need is a big boat, ideally, with the floors broken out. This front section is four wide and four long, and then my driving section with my motor and my sail is just tacked onto the back. You could add more here and here, it doesn't matter. When transporting container walls, there's a good chance that you are just messing around and building and you'll be later in the game and there's a high chance that your crafting level will be maxed out which means that when you break something out you get a full refund so if you already have sort of a big boat and you want to transport container walls you can easily break out the floors in the middle to expose the raft base this gives the container wall a nice place to set into i do suggest multi-directional sails as i've said in many videos before this turns you left this turns you right this keeps you going straight. It's very helpful when maneuvering around these rocks, especially when you are weighed down by multiple container walls. The bigger your boat, the harder it is to steer. My home island is right next door, right here. Luckily, we don't have a long trip ahead of us, but it can be a treacherous trip, especially as it gets further away from your home island. You may be required to stop at multiple islands along the way, in order to get it done. Now when you load up our container walls and they fit right into the groove here. Oh yeah, watch out for that, that happens. <laughs> We're a little heavy on the front, so I'll take this last one and put it on the back. I'm gonna drop the anchor and give it a little test. Yep, I can't move. Because I'm in the shallows, the bottom of the boat is touching the sand and the rocks. Drag this out to open water a little bit more. So I'm very heavy and I can hardly steer. So I need to get this as straight as possible. Ouch. <laughs> Your boat is going to be very, very heavy. And if there's a storm, you might be screwed. However, I will show you that this is possible in a storm. A few other things to keep in mind is this rock. I'm probably going to hit this rock. I'm going to try to avoid this rock here. I think we'll go right. So we could sail just a little bit to the right. I'm facing the wrong direction on purpose. Thank you, shark. The reason is... Traveling backwards gives you a better steering radius. Our island is right next door, and this is no problem. I have tried to do a fifth, but it tends to throw the boat all over the place. With this method, where the floor is cut out, I'm not much affected by a storm. There's our build. We need to get around these boats. I'm not going to make this turn. Pop off the motor. Turn on the right hand sail. That will take us directly right. And we can dock. And we can build. I'll reload our save and wait for a storm. It looks like we're about to get one. I'll wait a little bit longer and we'll travel with these four in a storm. Just so you can see what it's going to look like. A storm is definitely the last thing you want. But it's not the worst thing in the world. All right, here's our big bad storm. So you can see, I am traveling backwards. Can't even really see the island we're going to, but it doesn't really matter. Almost lost one there. And I'm not being careful at all. And I'm not hardly even looking. Just so you can see that it's not terrible and it's perfectly doable. Normally, you would want to steer into the swells as best as you could. We still have all four. Oh, it knocked me off the, the boat motor. And we still have all four.
Definitely hard to steer. But the point is, you can make it. <laughs> this is just a good example for you. I can grab my boat if it kicks us off. Because it's so slow with all that weight on it. Ideally, just stay on the rudder or the raft motor. The, thing, the biggest thing you're going to run into in a storm is trying to get close to the island to dock. Because of the swells, you're going to high center on all the rocks and the sand and stuff. You know, you can get real, real close. It's no big deal. We still have four, and we're, we're basically home. <laughs> fiddly, real fiddly. One, two, three, and four, and we're good to go. You can always save your game, leave, and if you get a storm or if you lose one, just reload. Now that you're here, you can unload these one by one and bring them over to your build, which is a little fiddly. I prefer to use my quick craft menu, rotate it so I can see, run over to my build, place my wall, and we're good to go. Alrighty guys, I'm going to stop this here. I hope you got a little bit from this video. I know people ask about it all the time. I had an older video with crappy audio, but uh, I've come up in the world. New microphone, new software, new graphics card, etc. So, I remade it, and it's a little bit better, and plus I have a little more information this time than I did last time. So, like, subscribe, all that nonsense, and I'll see you in the next video.